problems with that antenna mounting. like to do is pull it upwards and bring all its wires up out of here. So let's uh, well, it's kind of glued in here. What is that? That is a bunch of ugh. I don't know what that is. Well it looks like wax. Now why would there be wax right there? It's not glue though, it's just some wax. This little short guy right here. And the black one. It's gotta be in here it is. It's buried under all this stuff here. I'm just hoping there's some slack on it. Looks like it pulled that capacitor up here. stiff. It's going to be pretty hard to pull it through the radio there. Now lucky these, these uh, wires are still flexible. The insulation is pretty good on them because in lots of cases you'll never be able to pull these wires anywhere. have to do something different about the black wire. There's not a lot of excess wire in here to begin with. That's about all I'm going to get. So where does that get us? It gets us up that high. wire for me to make the connections to new capacitors. Awkwardly, probably it's okay. So I'm going to cut, cut off the uh, capacitor here. And that's a bit of a challenge. So I want to leave uh, maximum wires. Wow, I'm supposed to strip these wires and then hook up capacitors to them and then, yeah, what's all this gunk? And then, uh, see how cracked? Can you see that in the camera? The bottom seal is cracked everywhere. It's just cracked in all directions. Even the top, top one has got cracks in it too. It's going to let moisture in. 
wouldn't be surprised if we put a voltmeter on these leads if we don't see a little bit of voltage coming out of this. Having said that, now I gotta do it. I'm on the 200 millivolt range. Voltage coming out of a capacitor, not charge voltage. That's charge voltage there. I'll take it off. It was 2.1. Put it back on. That 2.2 there for a second. Let's put it back on. See, it's down to zero now. My meter has bled off the charge completely. Oh, wait a minute, there's a bad connection. Take that back. There we are. Well, it's not generating any voltage of its own. That's a fairly big capacitor. It takes a long time to drain out its uh, voltage. Well, maybe I'm mistaken about this, but certainly some capacitors that I've pulled out uh, have had, I, I guess, I have to assume, moisture inside them, and then they turn into little batteries, little mixed metal batteries, same as your uh, dry cell. Okay, back to the problems at hand. Working in there is going to be just about impossible. And we can pull back these wires and prepare them back here. I'll make up the pair of capacitors, place them in from the top. Uh, that's, I don't know how else to do it, really. I'll pull back these wires here. assumption I can get at them better under here, which I think that's more than an assumption. Okay, I just nip a little bit off the insulation. Don't want to take too much off here. Present me with more problems down the road trying to... This one's really waxy or greasy or something. A little lever technique there you probably didn't really see but let me let me show you what I did so I got around the cable insulation with this and I brought this up in behind grab the wire okay. I grab the wire and make sure the tips are touching like this and then I just pull this away and that is a lot of power and tremendous control so there's no whoosh, throwing of the radio, which I know anybody who does this work has done it. Once, once you feel that uh, strain building up as you're pulling on something, you've got an accident waiting to happen here. So. Okay, that's good on that. Now, gee, another possibility, I don't think I can do it, would be to push the capacitor leads down from above so they protrude out here make the connections, then I could either pull it up or leave it down here. But the connections can still be down here. Uh, boy, for some reason, you keep getting in the way today. That's a 
50. That's a little big. Uh, that's a 50 and 160 volts. That's good. That's at 250 volts. I think these are all... Necessarily high. 450. 450. 250 and 250. Hmm. I'm going to have to put in the bigger capacity of that. stock is so meager at this point. That's okay. Okay, so here's our two capacitors. They're both quite a bit bigger than the... Well, not really. What am I saying? One of them is going to be bigger than the original. So I'll put the two negatives together. That'll go on the black wire. What pushing this through from above might be the really the best solution. The problem is we're trying to make sure none of these wires short out on it. Let's see what it looks like. Now guys who are doing a real serious uh, restoration on a radio rather than a repair like I'm doing, uh, they'll take the time to try to get these back into the original can. You pull it off one way or another, I think. And, uh, there's no requirement for me to do that. There's quite a difference between restoring a radio and repairing a radio, in my, view, in my definition, anyway. And restoration is where you really try to bring it back to 100% of its former self. And uh, in repair work, you might be happier with more like 90%. Restoration too, you might, you might literally just change everything. Just change every part, all the parts, out. And you know, from a hobby point of view, that, that makes a lot of sense because what are you trying to do here? You're trying to spend your time working on a radio. So, we, uh, okay, so that's in there now. We protrude through pretty nice. But that uh, steel cabinet edge is right up against this. You know, and, and, even if I even if I finish the sentence, even if I put shrink sleeve and stuff on here, it's right at this edge here. Yikes! It's not the best deal. So another thing I do, I make the connections, and pull it up through, and I can apply a fair bit of insulation around all these connections and wires. And then when I pull it up through, I'll pull it until the insulated portions are in the opening here. And anything bare will be up above. And then I fix it in place. I can probably strap it against this can here if I want to give it some... Fix it. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> hey, talking about fixing it in place. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to bend the wires out, give it a bit of grip. slide on some some sleeves here okay, so this one's going on the ground not that it really is needed oh I gotta solder that because this is going to be hard to do once I do this I'm pull it out pull it out pull it out pull solder this connection or I'm going to be in trouble down the road. Soldering iron is not helping matters here. There we go. Okay. First one we'll do is this black one. I gotta kind of turn it around and aim it downwards. It's gonna be tricky pulling this out because of the uh, all these trying to get all these wires to bend their way out. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. sound to me filing the end of my soldering iron. It's really shot. Once in a while I leave my soldering iron on by accident in the shop. It sits here and cooks for 
24 hours.